Is it a cell phone or is it an Autobot? Autobots roll out. Ideal Conceal introduced their cell phone pistol in 2018. It's pretty much a two-shot Derringer. Two shots at the front, it compacts into a really small package, and it's in 380 ACP. It's two shots. And it's about the same size as most of your standard cell phones. I mean, this is an iPhone 12. My wife carries the Plus, which is actually a little bigger than the IC380 is what they call it. These are all made in the USA. It's a different kind of way to carry. We're going to look at some of the pros and cons, but the big thing is we're going to just take it out and try it out. Um, there's a lot of cool features about this little pistol, this little Derringer. And uh, it does come in 380, but they are coming out with the 9mm. And there's some plans maybe to do something in a semi-automatic. And obviously the big question is, why would you choose a two-shot Derringer over a semi-automatic pistol that may even be smaller. And I think that there are some cool ideas about this. It's not for everyone, but there are some great applications, I think, for this pistol. We live in the golden age of firearms, and this proves it. And we want to thank GetZone.com for putting all this together, and the guys over at Ideal Conceal for sending the little IC380 for this review. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm making a video. Yeah, I saw a bunch of videos where guys that were reviewing these were pretending it was a phone and it was really funny. So I thought I would do that in my video, you know, because I want to be like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's not a phone. But you know what? It's got the cool factor going for it. There ain't no doubt. Well, guys, it definitely is the same shape as a cell phone. Uh, you know, obviously there's some differences, but even with this little bolt right here, it makes it look like a camera. Uh, the big difference is is thickness and also you can get on the internet or you can make a phone call with your phone uh, this you can defend yourself uh, with the phone you can't <laughs> so we could do a comparison between the two but one of the things about this little firearm and we're going to go ahead and check to make sure it's unloaded uh, but it is completely safe there's no way to access the trigger with it closed uh, it has firing pin blocks in the back so if it's dropped it's not going to fire. So just bring it open and it reveals the trigger. Uh, and then of course you have this grip you can see uh, has just an open design which fits in here and it locks right here. Uh, and that, the great thing about that is is to close it you got to push those little detents in but to deploy it just pull it straight out. So it actually comes out pretty quickly. Now here at the top this is actually your rear sight and then we have just a front little sight. And it's definitely not much of a sight, but it's really good for self-defense if you're just up close and personal. It just kind of guides where you're shooting. Then you take that rear sight and pull it back, and then you just open up your chamber. So it's almost like an over and under. And it is rifled. Right here is your ejector, and so you just take and push it, and the empty shells come out. Uh, I would recommend that you push down on it and then move forward because sometimes those shells can get stuck and we'll check that out when we get to the range and then we just load it close it up and you're ready to fire or load it up close it up close up the grip and you can carry it this way safely so if you need to deploy it just pull it out and you're ready to go i mean this honestly is a transformer it's just funny because it's hidden in plain sight more than meets the eye 
<laughs> and it is an Autobot, I would say. Okay, so also you can put a laser on here. If you take this panel off, uh, there is a laser set up where you can use this. So it gives you just some more options. The barrels are stainless steel, and they're three inches in length, and then the body itself is a alloy frame. It's double action only, and so that means that when you pull this trigger, the hammer is in the resting position. It has to come back to fire. And that also is a safety feature of this firearm. Very much like a snubby revolver or a double action revolver. But this really is a Derringer. I mean, you got the two shots, you load it. Uh, it wouldn't be any more difficult to load than a standard Derringer. But it is a lot larger. But you can hide it. It's five and a half inches by three inches by 0.75 inches in width. And according to Ideal Conceal, uh, they do not recommend shooting plus P ammunition in here. Now there's also available a harness or a, kind of a holster. You can pop this in and uh, just wear this on your belt. And honestly guys, no one would know the difference. Now I'm gonna talk about the good features of this because honestly this is a quality firearm. And uh, it's been well made, all made in the USA. You know, it's just a solid piece for what it is. But now as far as recommending someone to buy it, that is up to them because this is definitely a unique option. It's something that, you know, you're going to have to learn how to use. And the way this thing functions, honestly, it's really simple. I mean, just pull it and fire uh, after you load it. And then to reload, just come up, bring it up, and, you know, you can just reload it. Is it fast? Not necessarily, but you can get fairly quick with it. Um, but I would recommend that you just depend on those two rounds and then get out of dodge. Uh, this is not going to be a quick reload. And really, a lot of that has to do with unloading it. Sometimes the shells, you know, they do have a tendency, of course, you know, you've just fired the weapon, and they do have a tendency to swell just a touch in there. Also, another feature is this little strip. It's made of rubber, and you can place your rounds in here. Holds four rounds. Uh, and then you can take your little holster and you can actually slide this in just like this. So you have your reloads with you. Again, nobody can see it. You had this small tab, so you're able to pull it out. Once you pull it out, again, just open it up, drop the rounds in, and then just pull it off. So it is a good option to make it quicker. Now, I reviewed the life card, and this is just 22 long rifle, but man, it's about the size of a credit card, a little thicker, obviously. It's one of the thinnest guns on the market. And right here, you take this little lever, push it, and then you lock it, and now you have a grip. Uh, you don't have a trigger guard, which you do have on the ideal conceal. So that does give it a fa safety factor. But this is just one shot of 22. Right here is another lever. Just grab it from both sides, pull it, and then it opens up, and it has a breech load as well. But again, this is just one shot, but it is tiny. And then when you want to cock it, you just pull back on these tabs, and this actually just cocks the firearm. And then you get one shot. This is just really cool. I like this. Um, I've really enjoyed just kind of having it. It is somewhat of a novelty, but yet... I mean, you know, if this is what you want to carry, as they say, a 22 is better than a good stick, but you only get one round. But also, there is a compartment right here where you can store extra rounds. And so that does just give you another option. This is definitely a James Bond type firearm. And once it's locked, it's locked in. And one of the things about the life card is that you do have to, in, you know, engage your levers to be able to cock it. And you know, and you do need to cock it. So this is not something you're going to deploy really fast and be able to fire. With the ideal conceal, if I have a little more room, I can whip this out. And actually with one hand, I can deploy it, bring the grip out, and fire it. Now, one thing I will warn you about is when you're firing it, uh, you know, with this small metal sheeting, this is not what bothers you while firing it. It's actually the squared off part back here. But it gives you a little bit of discomfort, but not a whole lot. But from what I understand, the 9mm version, which has just been released, uh, it can be a little tough on your hands. But again, if you're in a self-defense situation, you just do what you got to do. Bring it out, boom. And so it's, it's really quick to deploy uh, from this small holster. And they do make a standard Kydex holster that this will just slip into. But honestly, here, I mean... This is just like a cell phone case. It's just like a cell phone holder. 
and then you have those extra rounds you can slip into the back and so you know you have some capability here another carry method that they do offer is this small clip and you can replace these screws with the provided screws and it fits right here into the body and you can switch this to the other side so however you want to draw it you know you can place it in the right position you know, I think these are only about twenty dollars now here I have it installed and you know you can slip this in your back pocket it keeps it at the right orientation and again you can switch that to either side so it's just really simple and these are really easy just to take out the screws that were in here were much shorter so this just goes inside one advantage of the clip is you can just slip it right into your front pocket and no one would know the difference between this and a cell phone whereas they may be able to spot a little bit of difference if it's in the little carrier but with that way I mean it just slips right down and it's pretty deep carry but yet it gives you enough room to be able to grab it pull it open it deploy it so it's just kind of one of those things it's just totally different now one of the things about this as well is you don't want to break it down if you need to clean it all you need to do is is just open it up just clean out your bores and you know do whatever kind of light lubrication maybe right here and you're pretty much done uh, the main thing is, is just to keep it clean now the gun is unloaded we're going to check the trigger pull uh, it, they recommend not to dry fire this but I'm going to just do it a couple of times I don't have 380 snap caps now again this is a double action trigger pull so it's going to be fairly heavy and there you go right there it's it's heavy all the way through but it's really consistent there you go and then it's a nice little snap then with our lemon trigger gauge from brown ales eleven pounds fourteen point eight ounces try it one more time but that's what we were getting earlier eleven pounds fifteen point seven ounces Weight on the IC380, 19.4 ounces. Now, a lot of you guys are going to go, what in the world, man? I've got my LCP. I've got six rounds. It's actually smaller in overall area. And, you know, I mean, that's one of the things to consider. Uh, or you can get one of the LCP Max. This has 10 rounds. And so, you know, it's just a very small option. But one of the things I've found over the years with, you know, concealed carry and concealed carrying every day, different type firearms, different sizes, is sometimes it's just difficult to be able to carry in certain situations. I mean, guys, it's just a matter of where people are at the time. And also, one of the big things about this is it's just fun to take out to the range. It's just different. It's something that you just bring out. <laughs> and you shoot and you know it's just a different type of firearm but I love seeing this type of firearm come out because it's totally different than anything else on the market and it's just innovative and sometimes it's not necessarily you know a useful self-defense tool it's just a lot of fun to be honest I would be hard-pressed to choose the ideal conceal over my LCP but yet again there are just certain circumstances that could come about or just the way I like things to where I choose this and really, as a backup, this would be great. Now, we appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA. Uh, it's not going to take a lot with this one, <laughs> two shots at a time. And so we also have one of the cell phone cases we're going to try out and just see how that works. Also, this little stripper, uh, this is a great idea, actually. You can load the two rounds and just pull it loose. It makes it really quick. And it fits right back here in the back of this little cell phone holder and it has a little rubber tab, you can pull them right out. So I think that actually just adds to a little bit of the viability of this little setup. Now we can open up the grip or we can actually load it just by pulling back on that back sight right here. I'm gonna show you, we can just drop these in here like this, pull it out and you're loaded. Or, you know, obviously we can just put them in one at a time. Close it up. Now this is completely safe. All right, this is the first shot with the IC380. We're going to check it out. It's loaded. Just see how it does with recoil hat functions. Trigger pull is not so bad. I mean, it's double action, so it has a pretty heavy pull, but it's not really undoable. I mean, it's actually pretty doable. Closes up. We can reload it again this way. 
There we go. Rounds come out fairly easy. You may have to help them a little bit. Now we're gonna try it out with the holster. Of course, it just looks just like a cell phone. Fits right into this little pouch. Uh, you could actually carry it concealed <laughs> or you carry it open carry. So we're just gonna try it out. We're gonna probably fumble around a little bit, but we're gonna try to see how well we can deploy it. <laughs> just having fun. We're gonna really try it this time. Now we're going to try it out with the stripper clip, see how it works. Getting those rounds out is definitely going to be impeding. Pull it out. It's interesting. You want to make sure you get that little lever and push it down. Sometimes they'll fall out like that. Sometimes they can get a little bit tight to get in and out. This is not really made for an ultimate reload. This is fire two shots and get the heck out of dodge. Then maybe you can get somewhere where you can reload. Now this demonstrates some things about having that double action trigger pull. First time I was able to get a really good group right here. The second time the trigger pull did affect it. Um, you know, I get one shot here and one shot up top and I would do that consistently. But it's still within well the means of this firearm. And you know, while this is not something you're gonna shoot at distance, uh, this is great for bad breath distance. <laughs> now the question of the day is why would I purchase something like this? Uh, let's take it on the self-defense side. You know, it's two rounds. It's really easy, I feel, to conceal in wide open. I mean, you put it in a cell phone holder, 99.9% .9 of the people that'll see this are saying, oh, that's a phone, because they're not looking at detail. And again, it's about the same size as a phone, and the holder that it has actually looks like a cell phone holder. So, yeah, I could see that this could be hidden in plain sight, just like a transformer. Uh, as far as deployment, I mean, it's simple to deploy. There's no locks, there's no safeties. You just drop the grip and that's really your safety. And then it exposes the trigger, which is a double action trigger. And then you pull the trigger and you have two shots. Um, I mean, that is something that somebody could have in a pocketbook. They could have it on their belt, uh, concealed or not. And I think honestly, uh, for me, for concealed carry, it may not be something that I would be looking for. This would probably be something I would open carry, which I'm personally not big about open carry. I don't open carry. I can still carry. But this would be kind of nice as a backup. Right there on your belt, if you need to draw your firearm, you can't quite get to it, this might be a good option. And then you can get to your firearm. But I think that it's so fast to pull out and you've got two shots. I mean, people have been carrying Derringer since the 1800s, and maybe even before. And so that is something that a lot of people have relied on. But in today's world, with all the other options, is this something? I mean, again, we've looked at it next to the LCP, LCP Max, which is 10 rounds. And it's not that much bigger. But to me, this is something that, again, I feel like an open carry situation would be just right. But one thing too, guys, is how many of us have extra firearms. I mean, we have our concealed carry, we have a home defense firearm, we have a couple we may like to switch around with, but then we have these other firearms. <laughs> and some of them are safe queens, some of them we just like to get out and have fun with. 
And I think this is the big appeal for that. Um, one of the things that was funny is when I first got it in, I took it to the house and my son and his girlfriend were there and they were like, that is the coolest thing ever. That is so cool. You know, and my other son was looking at it and my daughter, I mean, you know, my wife, I mean, we just were really kind of, it's a great novelty and it's a lot of fun and you can go to the range and you can shoot it and it's something you can bring out that's just different. Uh, so I think when you've got that high dollar 1911 that you just take to the range pretty much for fun and just because you like to shoot them, I think this could actually fit into that same role of something just different and something fun. Because again, we do live in the golden age of firearms. There's so many different choices. And today more than ever, people have multiple firearms. And so this is just makes it a great point. But I think still, as far as a self-defense situation, I think that there are some instances where this could have merit. And so everybody has their different preferences. They have their different experiences. So this may be something that appeals to certain people. Am I recommending that you buy this for self-defense? No. But if it fits into your self-defense needs, then yes. I think it's a good quality firearm. It does give you two shots, and it does allow you to carry it very simply. It's the ideal conceal, because you don't know what it is if you don't know what it is. Of course, one of the deciding factors is going to be for most people is the price. It's $4.99 uh, on the Ideal Conceal website, and so that is a choice to decide if you want to buy something that's somewhat of a novelty or it's something that you see and you go, you know what, that is perfect for what I'm looking for for self-defense. Guys, we're all different, and I'm going to be me and you be you, and you decide what's best for you. And we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. They are a strong Second Amendment video platform. A lot of hunting, a lot of outdoors, a lot of shooting. And also to Ideal Conceal for sending this for this review. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Ideal Conceal introduced the cell phone uh, pistol. And you may be saying, why in the world would anybody have a two-shot revolver? Okay. The barrels are stainless steel and they're three inches in length. Okay. <laughs> length. They're, they're three inches in length. Or why would I want to purchase one of the... Um, I guess the big question of the day... Okay, I guess. I know the question. The real question is, is this an Autobot or is it a Decepticon? according to whose hands it's in.